Hi, my name is David McCann, and I'm the webmaster for this website, safetyandcounsel.com. Our verse is Proverbs 11, 14, where there is no counsel, the people fail, but in a multitude of counselors, there is safety. Today, I want to talk about opposite action, and uh, the opposite action I want to talk about is to esteem others above self. Uh, it's a new theme with biological psychiatry today. Uh, they teach uh, DBT and meditation, which basically comes from uh, Buddhism. Uh, it's really nothing new. It, this is found in the Bible. Uh, the Bible teaches us to esteem others above ourselves. It, it's not saying that we shouldn't have good self-esteem uh, because uh, if we know if you're born again, you know who you are. You know you have great worth and value in Jesus Christ. Uh, he died for you, so that makes you of great value. Uh, but, uh, but psychology teaches us to have its high esteem for ourselves, to feel good about ourselves, but, uh, put ourselves first and others last. And uh, but uh, in uh, Philippians 2, verses 3 to 4, it says, Let nothing be done through selfish ambition or conceit, but in lowliness of mind, let esteem others better than himself. Let each of you look out not only for your own interests, but also for the interests of others. Uh, I've been looking for a job for the last 10 months. Uh, Doing very well. I'm doing very well in my recovery. My diagnosis is bipolar 2. And uh, I really, really, my goal is to get off Social Security disability and pursue full time employment. And uh, a friend of mine gave me this idea. I'm doing this video and I'm going to uh, upload this to my website. And uh, if you're watching this, this is what this is about. Uh, I really want to work, and uh, it's not really about what's in it for me. I want to help you. I want to be the best I can be to help you attain what you need. I want to be in a healthy dependence with an employer. I no longer want to be dependent on the government or assistance for Social Security disability, but I do want to be in a healthy, interdependent relationship with an employer, doing whatever you need. Uh, willing to work any hours. I'm single, not married, and uh, my time schedule is very flexible. So uh, I can work pretty much any hour, and uh, willing to do anything, uh, janitorial, don't mind cleaning toilets for a living. I'm not ashamed of it. I've done it before. Uh, whatever you need. I'm an amateur web designer. I once owned an internet business called pincollection.com. And I, I've been blessed with many skills. And I can do many things. But I, I want to use those skills to get use to help others. I would like to be a peer support specialist, but I don't think that is possible at this time. Uh, what worked for me, I can't share with my peers, and uh, that's my relationship with Jesus Christ. I'm active in Celebrate Recovery. I sing in the church choir, and uh, my relationship with Jesus Christ is very important to me. And uh, the drugs and uh, medication that psychiatry has, none of them will work for me. Uh, I've been, I'm eight months free of psychotropic medication, and I'm happier than I've been in years. I sleep normal hours, and uh, on the drugs, I was sleeping 14 hours a day. I was chronically depressed and suicidal, and uh, Things got better after the last hospitalization in December 2009. Uh, I had a meeting with God there. I told God, 
Lord, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. What do you want me to do? Lord, I want to be happy again. And Lord, uh, what do you, what I need to do? I realize I had a lot of anger, bitterness, and hate in my heart. I attempted suicide so many times, it's not funny. I've had uh, ECT, everything you could think of. And uh, fortunately, I still got a good brain and I can do things. But uh, I want to work for you. I want to do the best job I can do. And I want it to esteem your needs above mine. I'm willing to lo relocate whatever it takes, whatever is necessary. So if you're watching this video, uh, please feel free to contact me. My email address is david at safetyandcouncil.com.